Senator Graham. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, we're about to get an answer to the uh, age-old question. Uh, can you be confirmed Attorney General of the United States of America over the objection of 1,400 law professors? <laughs> and uh, I don't know what the betting line in Vegas is, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, I like your chances. Uh, now, let's talk about the issues. Uh, <clears throat> as you know, me and the President-elect have had our differences. <clears throat> uh, about religious tests. Would you support a law that says you can't come to America because you're a Muslim? No. Uh, would you support a law that says, it, uh, it says you're a Muslim and when we ask you what does that mean to you, well, well that means I got to kill everybody that's different from me. It's okay to say that they can't come? I think that would a, be a prudent decision. I hope uh, we can keep people out of the country who want to kill everybody because of their religion. Now, I hope that well, people are smart enough to know that uh, not what most people believe, that, that that's not, pardon me, that is not what most people in the Muslim faith believe. But it can be the religion of that person. That's right. That's the point we're trying to make here. So, uh, immigration. Uh, you said that the executive order of President Obama, uh, you believe, is unconstitutional, the, the DACA, the Deferred Action for Childhood uh, Arrivals Law. You still have that position? Well, I did for a number of reasons. I'm not, I, I mean, I, I, oh, oh, right, I agree right. with you. Right. So, <clears throat> now, now, so we, we've got 800,000 people have come out of the shadow. Will you advise the next president, President Trump, to repeal that executive order? It would certainly be constitutional to end that order, to end the illegality and put us in a position where we can wrestle with how to handle these difficult, compassionate decisions. Right, and the best way to do it is for the Congress and the administration to, to work together and pass a law, not an executive order. Exactly. Right. Okay. Uh, so do you support the continuation of Gitmo as a containment facility for foreign uh, terrorists? Senator Graham, I think it's designed for that purpose. It's a safe place to keep prisoners. Yeah. We've invested a lot of money in that, and I believe it should be utilized in that fashion and have opposed the closing of it. But as Attorney General, I'd be very happy to... I just... I, I, I just wanted, I wanted to see if they were still listening. <laughs> I, think, um, I think they're on the fence about Gitmo. I'm not sure. Uh, cyber attacks. Do you think the Russians were behind the uh, hacking into our election? I have done no research into that. I know just what the media says about it. You think you can get briefed anytime soon? Oh, well, I'll need to. Yeah. I think you do, too. Do you, uh, you like the FBI? Do I like them? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, some of my best friends are FBI. But do you, uh, do, so do you, do, you, do you generally trust them? Yes. Are you aware of the fact that the FBI has concluded that it was the Russian intelligence services who hacked into the DNC and Podesta's emails? I do understand that. So from your point of view, there's no reason for us to be suspicious of them? Of their decision? Yeah. I'm sure it was uh, honorably breached. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, how do you feel about a foreign entity trying to interfere in our elections? I mean, I'm... I, 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 I'm not saying that they, they changed the outcome, but it's pretty clear to me that they did. Uh, how, do you, how, do you, how do you feel about it? I mean, what, what should we do? Well, I suppose it goes in many ways to the, the State Department, our Defense Department, and how we as a nation have to react to that, mm -hmm. that a price is paid. I agree. Uh, I've known you for... Uh, 15 years, 
uh, and now and we've had a lot of uh, contests on the floor and sometimes we agree sometimes we don't uh, I'm from South Carolina so uh, I know what it means sometimes to be accused of being a conservative from the South that means something other than you're a conservative from the South and uh, in your case, people have been fairly promptly tried to label you as a racist or a bigot or whatever you want to say. Uh, how, how does that make you feel? <laughs> and, and this is your chance to say something to those people. Well, that does not feel good. Mm. 